Now, you were very subtle with that one. So what were some of the things that you did in there? Okay. So there is a, uh, so on the part where it goes, um, and it seems like you can't make it through. So there's a chord that I like to use. <clears throat> there's a chord that I like to use that's sort of, I don't want to say it complicates an, an easy chord by, you know, I don't want to say it complicates an easy chord, but it's sort of a deviation from that chord. So let's say we have F, right? Right? So what I would do is instead of me playing this, Instead of me playing regular F over A, adding the two, right? Of course, you got to add the two. Instead of me adding the two with this F here and the left hand, I will just go F sharp. Just go F sharp. It gives a little dissonance. Same thing I would do right before the six. like I'm playing it's kind of like I'm just playing you know E over C C over, uh, C over E sorry but that C sharp all of a sudden it just kind of like changes the complexity of it it's like I'm changing the complexity of that chord It's like I'm changing that one note will change the complexity of the chord and it gives it this sort of eerie dissonance. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty much it on the Donnie song? What you pretty much um, did on that? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, pretty much. That was pretty much it on the Donnie song. Okay. Um it's pretty straightforward. I don't really Yeah, you don't mess you know, I don't mess around with it too much. But I love using this chord here. And it just it, it just it just shows you that one note can completely change the complexion oh, yeah. of any chord. You know, it doesn't necessarily need to go be crazy. Something yeah. crazy. It could just be one note. Mm. That right there just changes it. The F sharp Ooh. changes it. Yeah. Or the C sharp. That changes it a lot. Just that C sharp <laughs> changes it a lot. Wow. Yep. Yeah. 